Uh, joining me now, Ground Zero demolition worker and president of the Feel Good Foundation, John Field. John, thank you so much for jumping in front of a camera. I know you've just been in the Rose Garden with the president. I appreciate you coming on. Uh, thank you for having me. Give me a sense of how you're feeling now. I know you've been waiting for this day for a very long time. Yeah, um, again, um, we're not celebrating. You know, I did this for 15 years. I'm just relieved that the 9-11 community responders the people of Lower Manhattan, the children of Lower Manhattan, where there were 12 schools in the geographic map. I'm so glad that they're going to get the financial relief that they deserve. And for my men and women that walked the halls of Congress with me this year, back in 2015, back in 2010, I'm so proud of them. And um, uh, we, get, we get to exhale. And uh, the, yeah. re the relief um, is just, it's, it's just an amazing feeling. And um, listen, I'm not going to be away from D.C. much longer. Uh, I'm going to come back with John Stewart. We're going to tackle another uh, project. And um, for those who walk the halls of Congress with me, I ask them to put down their swords, pick up a rake, and go grow something and watch it grow, be with their loved ones. I'm so proud of them, and um, they're the reason why we got this bill passed. And to John Stewart, if you're watching, you're my best friend, and I love you. Oh, there's that uh, amazing picture, John, of I know you and John Stewart, the day that, um, and I think this is it actually, the day that this passed the Senate just recently. You talk about the fight not being over. I imagine this is still an emotional day for you. Yeah. Um, you know, listen, I cried. I'm on the verge of crying now. Um, I'm relieved. Um, it's like popping a, a big political pimple, <laughs> you know? <laughs> um, and, you know, um, to watch the president sign this into law, I just know tens of thousands of people are going to get help. And, you know, the president, uh, when he signed the bill and he gave me the pen, um, he said that I'm more famous than him. And I said, um, <laughs> I don't think so, but I'm, I'm not done. So maybe one day I will be. So then what is your message now to Senator Mitch McConnell? I know that you had an opportunity to talk with him uh, as yeah. this was sort of all building up over the last couple of weeks. What do you say to him now that this has been signed and passed? You got more work to do? Yeah, well, I want to thank Mitch McConnell because he kept to his word after that meeting. And um, he was straight forward and honest. And, um, you know, listen, we got a bill passed 97 to 2 in the Senate without a pay for. So mm. somebody in D somebody in D.C. owes me a thank you because there's a pay for waiting to be used on another bill. And um, <laughs> the fact that this bill passed in the House and the Senate without a pay for 402 to 12 and 97 to 2, it says a lot about the American people who supported us who um, the American people, they, uh, they wrote emails, they made phone calls, they went to congressional districts, and they supported us. And um, it took a village to get this done, and uh, I'm so happy for the, everybody who was involved. And I know you're thinking of uh, your friend Luis Alvarez uh, and the many others yeah. who lost their lives uh, in this, this prolonged fight since 9-11. John. You know, uh, Luis Alvarez and Ray Pfeiffer, uh, they were selfless men. And um, most people would have spent their remaining days with their loved ones. But Ray and Louie, they chose to be with us at the Feel Good Foundation and walk the halls of Congress and testify in front of committees. And um, this one's for them. An emotional day. Uh, John Feel, I appreciate you joining us from the Rose Garden. We're Thank thinking you. of you. Appreciate it. Much appreciated. Thank you.